welcome to my channel and happy Halloween everyone so I got inspired today to do make some uh, um, cinnamon rolls so I'm making some cinnamon rolls so I got all my stuff here got my bowl got my uh, my whisk got the milk so we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with the milk and I, I warmed it up to about um, Warm, maybe I have to warm it up just a little more. Put it on for another 16 seconds. So we're gonna start with the yeast. So this recipe, which I'm using from uh, this is the recipe I'm using here: sweet rolls and donuts and coffee cake so basically you can make cinnamon rolls out of this and this is the one I use so we're gonna use uh, I'm gonna do double the recipe so it says the yeast we will put one it says one package one package is about one tablespoonful so I'm gonna do double so we're gonna do two packages which is two tablespoons we're gonna do two round tablespoons one Two. Now we're gonna put the now we're gonna put the milk in it. I'm dressed up today. <laughs> so here's the milk. So we got uh, two cups of milk. So two tablespoons of yeast and two cups of milk. Pour that in there. And if you want, you can do separate and this, you can use this where you had the milk and you can put the eggs in there and whisk them up a little bit. And we got, uh, it's uh, called for two eggs on the recipe, so I'm going to do four, but I'm going to do five because my eggs are a little small, so we're just going to do the extra egg. So basically two large eggs. I'm doing double, if you're doing double, so make it double. I'm doing four. Uh-oh. Added the eggs, stirred it a little bit, and now I'm gonna add the butter. Oh yeah, how much butter? I guess I didn't say. So, um, it called for a third cup of butter, so I put two thirds of a cup, and I also melted it in the microwave for a minute. And now we're gonna add the sugar, which is another two thirds. So two thirds of a cup of sugar, almost a cup. And now we're just gonna add all this together. And of course you gotta put a little bit of salt. It doesn't say that on the recipe, but anything, any sweet things that you make, if you put a little salt in it, it will be a lot better. So just put a little bit of salt like that in it. And it brings out the sugar more too as well. So now you got to get into the dough part. So it says to do four cups of flour if you're doing the original recipe. But I'm doing the double recipe so I have eight cups of flour here that I've already sifted. Eight cups of flour here that I've already sifted but I'm not going to put it all in at once. I'm just going to put little bits at a, at a time. We're not going to use the whisk anymore. Now we're going to use a spoon in our hands for the rest of it. This is the first part of the cinnamon rolls. I got myself some bowls so you guys can see. So I put like two, I'll put three bowls. I'll put the four cups of uh, flour in it right away. So basically you can use a wood spoon or, or any spoon, you know, and just start stirring it in. until you get a dough forming and then you can uh, you know roll it into a dough and then you rest it it's kind of like a thick dough like this consistency now we add more flour now it's going to start forming into a dough and you can use margarine or or uh, butter you can even use uh, lard so So 
So it depends on how scared you are messy of, of dough, you know. At this point where I'm going to start cleaning the spoon off. And then I'm going to put my hands in there and start kneading it. Okay. Clean the spoon off with some flour. That's how you do it. Just some flour on your hands. And just do this. You can get it right off your spoon. Sometimes I did put a little bit of cinnamon in the dough, but um, I might not do it this time. I might just do it because I might want to do some other rolls. So once you get it to not stick anymore, you just add flour. Make sure you get the bowl nice and clean too. Just keep doing this. Turn the bowl as you're kneading it, adding a little flour when it gets sticky. And then I'll let it rest for about 20 minutes. And then uh, I will be rolling it out and uh, make the buns, make the cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns, rolls, whatever. You can do all kinds of things with that, the dough. Yeah. Use your imagination. So I'm gonna put it on a table for a minute for the rest of it here. So I've learned that it uh, does really help to uh, easier to do it. Without having a lot of just, you know, flour. So I didn't use quite all the flour, but that's okay. Might use it later. When we do the rolling out the dough. So you just do this. Give it a little bit of you know. When you do this, it wakes up the elastic E and it makes it stretch more. And it wakes up the yeast in your dough. So yeah. So this is fun. This is fun sometimes. When you want cinnamon buns bad enough, you'll make them. <laughs> now you know how, now you have to. no excuse. Just watch my video. The internet hasn't been good, so doing doing it live is not an option for me right now for a cooking video. So it's already been 10 minutes. So basically you roll it, and then now it's starting to be less sticky. Just keep doing that until it doesn't stick too, too bad anymore. Just like kind of like a dough, you know, like a bread dough, pizza dough, any dough like that. Because this is a um, this is a yeast dough, and um, you know, I can never just make the little recipes that they say on there, you know, something like this. Once I do get to make, once I do make it, it doesn't last long in my house. So I think it's good now. So it's nice dough now. It's not too sticky. So we're just gonna. Middle like that, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit of, of butter right here in the middle, and that helps it rise too. And then we're gonna put it back in the pan. And we're gonna put some saran wrap or a towel over it, even a towel, towel works fine. Um, so, yeah, I only have margarine right now, so we're gonna use the good old margarine. is a spoonful. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle here of the dough. Right in the middle of the dough here. And kind of spread it around. And then we're gonna take the dough and put it back in the spoon. And upside down with the with the with that butter on the bottom. And just you can even put a little bit of butter on the top if you want. Let it rest for 20 minutes and you'll see the different size when it comes back. Yeah, it's like half a bowl now. We'll see what it comes back. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Oops. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. So look at this dough now, guys. Look at this dough. Alright, let's reveal it. Getting so good. These cinnamon buns are going to be the best.
All right. So now we're gonna put a little bit. Of, so I'm gonna. I got my pan here where I'm gonna put them in. And then when I'm done cooking them, I can take the lid on it. So we put the pan over here for a minute. Well, we get the dough out. We're gonna have to do this in two parts. Let's wash my hands again. It's important when you're cooking to always, always wash your hands, especially when you're cooking. So we're gonna cut. So we're gonna put a little bit of flour on the. Uh, flour on here and then we're going to take half of this I'm just going to take half of this roll it out just going to squeeze it off leave that in there I'm going to start with this so this has the flour nice and yeah it's going to be nice Flour. You can knead it once if you want, but I don't gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it rise and then you do need lots of room to roll that out though. Okay, let's turn it over. I'll show you how thick I do it. And I don't have my mixture ready yet, but I will get it ready right now. The sugar and cinnamon ready. So now we're gonna just, I'm uh, probably gonna need about that much. I don't know, I'm not really measuring it. You can do how much you want, like how sweet you want yours to be. I'm gonna put that much. So now we're gonna put the cinnamon, or uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of other spices in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, almond, a little bit of almond in it. And I wanna put a little bit of nutmeg in it. Cause it's gonna be like extra special cinnamon buns. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of pumpkin spice because it is Halloween and it's that time of year. Pumpkin spice. And then we're gonna put lots of cinnamon, okay? Lots of cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon, because this is cinnamon. Yeah. I don't know, maybe about three tablespoons of cinnamon. And then I'm gonna mix it all up. I'm gonna use my hands. Use my hands. Squirrel it around. Make sure it's all mixed like this. So then you just uh, well, if I had like the thick cream, I would put cream. I would whip this some cream and then put it on here. But I don't have that. Um, if I do that with the other cream, it will just get all over. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, the margarine. I'm going to use a margarine, spread it all over. And you just, it's like you're painting, you know, you're doing a painting. And uh, then you put the sugar, and this will get together, it will mix nicely together. Make sure you get it everywhere. So I'm putting a lot of butter. Um, make sure all the cover, all of it is covered. Okay, we got the butter on it. Now we're gonna put this all over, Just like this. That's how my mom taught me to make cinnamon rolls. 
My grandma did it this way too. But they used cream. They used the real thick cream, you know. So I might have to mix another one for the next dough because I don't think this is going to last for both doughs. So I do like a lot of flavor. I do like the flavor to be everywhere. And I like to roll them apart as I'm eating them. That's how I like to eat my cinnamon rolls is roll them apart. We got this. Now we're gonna roll it up. This way. We just squeeze them together. I can't show you right now, but you'll see when I get to when I get to here. I'm sorry about my arms. This is clean, but it's hanging from the flower. I hate those things. How did they do it back in the day when they were cooking and they wore these kind of outfits? So yeah, we're just gonna do this. And then roll it all the way. Make sure it's all nice and in there, good. Rolled up good. And now we got a nice long roll here that we're gonna put in, uh, cut it, and put it in the pan. And we're gonna also put butter on the in the pan so that everything can cook nicely. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna cut it now after I put the butter on here. And I like to use for to put butter on pans. I like to use um, I like to use a a coffee filter or a paper towel, but I usually don't have paper towels, so I just use a coffee filter. Ugh, if I get it up, the next coffee's gonna taste like cinnamon, I bet you. So I touched it. It's kind of tough, but you need both of them. So I just use, clean off this brush, come right apart, and use it again. But, get so much on there, just kind of, Oil up your pan. Oil up your pan nicely. And this butter will, you know, caramelize right into this too. You want it to get the flour off a little bit. Put a little bit of butter on the outside. I'm gonna use a knife. I know they get squeezed, but you can kind of push them together and make them round again. Mm -hmm. She's gonna love me for this treat. No cinnamon buns. Nice, right? Mm. Alright. I don't know. I have to use another pan for this one. Let them rise for the same amount of time, probably another 20 minutes. I didn't really count, but I'm assuming it was about 20 minutes. I'm put another one in there. Put a small one. There. So we got one, one ready. And we let it rise. I'm just gonna put a lid on it and let it rise like that. Put the lid on it and let it rise like that. guys enjoyed this video with me. Sorry, I forget that I'm on camera sometimes when I'm doing this. Okay, I'm going to my own little, own little world. Okay, let's roll this baby up. Let's get some more sugar. Oh, sugar's right here. Sugar. Put all the spices. We'll start with cinnamon this time. And that's one of those things you can just kind of put how much you want, you know. 
gonna put some pumpkin spice. I like pumpkin spice and blah blah. And this one I'm not gonna put uh, the almond and the nutmeg. We'll just leave that one out for this one. Okay. Let's get the dough roll. Um, dough me. Dough buttered. Buttered. Might have to get some butter tomorrow. Might be out of butter. Actually, I can use the butter that's in the bottom of this pan too. Piece of dough. Take that piece of dough off. She knows there's something to There. Now let's put the sugar on and roll it up. Here we go. Good. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Okay, let's roll it up. Roll, roll, roll. We go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's so childish, I am. My child side always comes in. Alright, let's go. Alright, roll, roll, roll. <laughs> I am so dressed up. Halloween y. I hope these turn out really good. And yeah, we'll be doing that giveaway tonight. So, we'll be doing the giveaway in the mug. <laughs> We're gonna put these long middle like end pieces. We're gonna put them in the middle so they get moisture. Cut them off first and uh, right there. We'll see if we get them all in there. I'm making these ones a little bit bigger so that way I don't have to use another pan maybe. How many more? One. Three, four, four, six. Three, five. There we go. All done. Look at that. Done. Now we just gotta wait. Clean up. Time to clean up. I'm at 350, 375 maybe. Okay, so we're gonna let it rise for like 20 minutes and we'll be back. I hope you enjoyed this video and God bless you and come. These buns now, they're ready to go in the oven now. And so I'm gonna put them in the oven now and I'll show you guys when they're done. Sorry you guys, I have my finger over the speaker. But this is what they look like now. And I'm gonna put them in the oven and I'll show you a picture of them after. The cinnamon buns are done. They've been done for a bit, but um, I'll show you guys now when they're done. I did have one, as you can see, I already have one. So I'm going to have another one. And, oops. and they're and they are so good with some coffee or tea. They're so, so um, good. These ones are moist inside too. Um, I like them with like a lot of moisture and stuff inside, a lot of flavor. And uh, normally I put um, um, the thick cream, the uh, whipping cream, and then I put the, the spices and the sugar on. But uh, I didn't have that today, so I just used butter and it's still really good. And I don't, I could put icing on them. But I don't like it with icing, it's too sweet for me. So I like them like this. Good old fashioned cinnamon buns. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for coming and watching. God bless. Bye now.